We have two major developments this morning involving two separate police videos. We've now learned that a Texas police officer has been fired after shooting and killing that college football player who was jumping on cars. That investigation ongoing and from Ferguson, Missouri this morning, new surveillance video emerging of that teen shot critically wounded. You're about to see the video that police say shows the teenager pulling out a gun first. ABC's Kendis Gibson is in Ferguson for us. Good morning, Kendis. David, good morning. Relative calm returning to the streets of Ferguson overnight. Authorities are deciding now whether to lift that two day old state of emergency. This as we get new video showing how the violence started. Police say this newly released video captures 18 year old Tyrone Harris grabbing a gun out of his waistband and pointing it towards the cops who shot and critically injured him seconds later. It followed a night of Ferguson protests to commemorate the anniversary of the death of Michael Brown. Harris's father saying he brandished the gun in order to protect himself. Since then, more than 140 arrests following two consecutive nights of clashes between police and protesters. St. Louis County Police enforcing a state of emergency declared for the area, but now also dealing with a new complication. We're just protecting people. That's all. The Oath Keepers are back, heavily armed men who we first saw on the streets of Ferguson last year during the protests. Meanwhile, in Arlington, Texas, police officer Brad Miller fired from the force this morning after he fatally shot unarmed 19-year-old college football player Christian Taylor. Miller responding to a burglary call from this car dealership where surveillance video captured Taylor damaging a car in the parking lot before driving his vehicle through the dealership. And those authorities in Texas say whether former officer Miller is indicted on criminal charges remains to be seen. Robin? All right, Candace, thank you.